Hey, GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. I'm here today at Spartan Forge with Chad Wiley, mm -hmm. the CEO of Palmetto State Armory. He's the investment group that owns Palmetto State, owns sure. a bunch of companies. One of them is recently acquired also is here at Spartan Forge. Yep. We have a neat story here just in the idea that, that they buy companies and then put money into them so they can get cool new things like, what, what do we have here? Sure, this is a state of the art. Uh, press our, our new forge. We've got a forging operation down below this building that we just toured. Right. Basically, this will increase our productivity, increase production. It's more efficient. Power consumption is a lot less. A little, right. little green technology there going in, and it'll um, actually give us a little bit more diverse product basis on yeah. um, our delivery to the customer. Right. Oh, I see you on Facebook every now and then <laughs> lurking around in gun groups and making comments and sure. people don't know who they're talking to, nope. but, um, which is kind of funny, it's kind of funny. But, it's uh, but neat as well. I mean, a real connection sure. to the consumer. Something that I see the consumers say many people over and over is there are a couple different foraging places. Everyone gets them the same place. Sure. What are the reasons that you're investing in something as basic as forging your own parts versus, I mean, you could sub those out and get them from from someone else, like yeah, most people do. The education process of AR platform, there are a small number of forges in the country and you're relying on those forges. If the market shifts, you're in line with everybody else to get that right. forge product. And what we wanted to do to be able to get the best price to the customers, always have that product available to the customers. Right. We looked at the basics, the beginning of the AR cycle, which is mm -hmm. the forge process. Right. So we made the investment in purchasing Spartan to be right. able to have the ability to be able to forge our own uppers as, as we see fit. And right. that gives us a competitive advantage to be able to have that first right of all the forges that come to our product line actually. Right, and, and there's another interesting thing that you kind of slipped in there. Mm -hmm. You're not just making them for Palmetto State or Right, right. So we'll be able to have a diverse catalog. We will be able to sell what we don't use to other customers and other contracts as, as we see fit. Yeah. As far as you know, I was not trying to get him to reveal who those other folks are, <laughs> but rather just to acknowledge, I mean, it's something you see sure. over and over mm -hmm. is oh, well, they're all coming from the same places. And well, no, this is, I, I know where this is coming now because uh, yep. the next building over that we've watched them, I, I'll overlay some video of that, of the forge running and it's actually making- It's a really making, cool process too, right? it, It's a really hot yep. process. Really hot process. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's something else to see. You know, when we toured, a uh, few of us on the Gear Report team toured the Columbia facility, Jamin was showing us around and talking about part of the rationale, you mentioned it, is being able to keep the cost down for the customer right. and a couple things that really struck me in that discussion he kept coming back to over and over was yes you want to control the flow of parts but bringing the cost down for the customer so what else are you doing we talked about the forge which does right. your lower receiver your upper receiver are you also forging your own things for like the new AK line AKV has forged parts are those coming not from yet. here not yet this is fairly new for us mm -hmm. as a learning experience yeah. and, and what we do know really well is they are right mm -hmm. I mean we are that's our bread and butter product that's what we right. do um, and that's where we're gonna start I don't know of any plans immediately Jamin be able to better tell you on the AK side I know that our AR production is pretty much the number one thing that we're focused on right now right um, so some of the other parts will continue to use vendors and whatnot based on our gotcha. specs to, to supply them but for now I think we're gonna focus on the AR market so from a much. business model standpoint when I first was introduced to Palmetto sure. a few years ago, because I wasn't an AK, or excuse me, I'm still not an AK guy. I wasn't an <laughs> AR guy forever. You know, the last sure. four or five years, I've really kind of come around to the AR platform. That's when I met the company mm -hmm. was, you know, four or five years ago. And my understanding is it was mainly parts assembly. Everything came from other places. And yeah. you know, I don't want to talk about any of the specific brands. No, you right, see right, the debates right. online oh, about yeah, yeah. what kind of barrel to get. It looks to me, from what I've seen at various facilities, that you're looking to make pretty much every part. Yeah, 90% of it. We, we've, yeah. we've not delved into the small parts yet because they're pretty plentiful. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just not, for, for our perspective, a competitive advantage to make mm -hmm. a safety detent, right? I mean, you can okay. get those by yeah. bulk. What we're trying to do is control every aspect that we typically run into issues with if there ever is a surge in uh, demand. So uh, we started out with the forge. We're doing our own uppers, as you saw at, at, at SDS and DC. Um, and they're, they're the quality is amazing. I mean, some of the things that 
the effort that they're putting in and going into the testing and the, the material differences in the products and parts is just, in my opinion, outstanding, you know, and, and they're doing a good job with that. But we do own the majority of the parts that go on the AR, with the exception of some of the injection molded parts, pistol right. grip stocks. Got a great relationship with Magpul to provide right. those. But the rest of it, we, we um, have made great effort in creating ourselves so that we can control that. Good. Again, it's controlling our destiny. Good. And then to help push that out to the customer. If you look at the business model, the way we operate, if we can manufacture all the parts, assemble the parts, and sell them directly to you, you don't have to go through the gun shops or the distribution channels. And mm -hmm. we're basically taking it anywhere from 15 to 30% margin of the platform out to be able to give you a product. It's good quality. I mean, amazing quality, it's, it's, a, it's a good product. Yeah. But it's at less price because we've cut out that distribution model that's traditionally been a part of the industry.